Damn, what up, y'all? Espresso, double. double. That's how we do in this pre workout. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back, you guys, here out in Tokyo. Brion, your first time here, right? It's my first time. I was about to say, we're back. You're yeah, back. I'm back. I've been here since 2019. It's been about, oh. about, just about five years. Yeah. So we're out here at VQ. We're doing a little gym meetup, meet and greet. We have a bunch of athletes out here, a bunch of fans. Jeff Sides with us as well. I think he's getting a spray tan right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, um, the uh, pretty boy shit. <laughs> He's fresh off the Arnold. He's just black and he's tan already. <laughs> and you got me that's been pasty white. So we're gonna head over to Y4. We don't have anything to do till like three o'clock today. It's only about 9.30 right now. For those of you guys who've been following me for a long time, last time I was out here, I worked out at Y4 gym. It's a super cool gym out here in Tokyo. We have a photo shoot we're doing at three o'clock. So we don't know how intense that's gonna be. So we gotta get it in beforehand. Yeah, well, it's not gonna be intense. Jeff's getting a tan it's for it though. <laughs> it's only gonna be intense for it's, Jeff. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> It's intense for him. Somehow he makes it intense. It's, it's a lot different here in Tokyo. You know, like it's super clean here but everything's very compact like when you guys see this gym it's tiny it's little and they got a lot of equipment in there but it gets the job done it's just kind of the way things are out here in tokyo but nonetheless we're excited to be out here i'm excited to be back we're excited to meet all our fans out here We've always had a tremendous amount of support from japan so it's really nice to be able to come back out here and get back to the athletes so we hope you guys enjoy this trip as much as we do let's get after it I haven't seen these guys in forever. Yeah. It's been it's been five years since I've been here. Wow. Everybody here is super cool. Wow. I told you I'll come back. <laughs> What's up, man? I'm so sorry, I couldn't. No, it's it's your fine. Name it's nice long. to see you again. Nice How are you doing? What's up, brother? Long time. Thank you. How are you? Good to see you, man. Hi. Hi. How are you? Is this you guys know Brian? Signed this five years ago. Yeah. Brian. Brian. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, these are all my signatures. <laughs> That's cool. I kept it up there. You guys, kept, you guys kept all my stuff. Yes, of course. <laughs> this is probably the first time that Night Reflected Chaos has been taken in Japan. It's not sold international, is it? It is international. I'm not sure if it's sold in Japan. Me and Brian were gonna train legs together, but I decided against it because I don't feel like doing legs today. I haven't worked out in two days. And I actually woke up yesterday morning with my, my knee bothering me. Out of nowhere, I just rolled out of bed and it was just like really locked up. So we have a lot of um, work to do in the next few days. So I'll make sure my legs are fresh. I'm not limping around too much. So I'm gonna get some chest in today, get some blood flow, try to volumize a little bit. I just need a sick pump, that's what I need. Mentally, I need a really good pump right now. I just wanna volumize and feel good, kind of set the tone for the rest of the trip, especially before I get in front of everybody. I'm not gonna lie, I was like a little, had a little anxiety coming out here. You guys know I just got back, started my off season about a month ago after taking you know, three and a half, four months off after Olympia, eating whatever I wanted, completely off cycle. So we're just trying to get back in the swing of things and. You guys all know Brian just took second place to the Arnold UK literally like five days ago. Jeff Sides out here. Jeff Sides always in great shape. So we have to do a photo shoot with them today. <laughs> so for my psyche, obviously not going to be the most shredded guy during the photo shoot. But we can try and be the biggest. I think this might be the first time I outweighed Brian in a long time. All right. Let's get loosened up. Let's get this workout in and let's get huge. So are you 210 right now? About. <laughs> about. I haven't, I haven't got on there, but I'm about that. So I, I lied, I'm not heavier than him right now. He's got five pounds on me. <laughs> Top 10 radar. Yeah, we on your <sighs> radar. Mm -hmm, never miss dog, and that's on occasion. Brian, let me know when all the blood's out of your legs and I have all the blood in my upper body and then we'll do a pose down. <laughs> that was probably one of the most humbling moments of my life. Me and Brian weighed the same going on Olympia stage and then completely mogged me. No, I'm... you look bad at all. Thanks, Brian. No, no, no. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> now I know Brian's willing to lie to me. <laughs> 
It's like the weight's not heavy, but when I contract it, it's like a sharp pain. A lot of control. <sighs> you know, it comes down to it's got to start prioritizing the little things more. I've talked about that in plenty of past videos, but of getting up at six o'clock in the morning, going and doing my cardio. I got to start doing abs again in the morning, but it's been hard to stick to it because my schedule's been so off and on. When I go to these events, you know, it's not just a typical like nine to five. Like I get up in the morning, I get to the gym. I usually train in the morning before our event starts. And then I go work these events for eight, 10 hours. And then usually after that, we're meeting up with distributors or other people we work with for dinner at nighttime. And we don't get done until 12 o'clock or one o'clock in the morning. It sucks because it sounds like a bunch of excuses. And I fucking hate, hate making excuses. This is the reality of it. Hey man, Hi. it's good to see you again. How are you? Very nice to see you. How you been? Yeah, yeah, with uh, Vanquish. Ah, Vanquish. Yeah, yeah, we're out here. Yeah, how you been? Oh, good. good? Nice, good. Good man. Is this a new company? Yeah. So you just started. Uh, very nice. Uh, for for your present. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's nice being able to come back to places like this and see how happy people are to see me. It means a lot. Like even like on our flight leaving out of San Francisco, the guys that are working the, the desk for Japanese airlines, they knew who I was. They're super excited to help us out. Just, just like kindness that you don't really get in the States. And especially it's been five years since I've been here. I do actually, I remember all these faces. And that's the cool thing is that like when you come in places like this and they treat you so well, like we don't forget it. So it's cool to be able to come back out here and see these guys and show them my appreciation to them and, and in turn them showing them their appreciation towards me. Kind of makes me realize why I do all this crazy stuff. You got a little time to drink some of that sake with me when we're out here or what? All right. It was the only one last night that ordered a beer at the table. It kind of made me upset. Like, well, thanks, Jeff. I think we're going to like a sumo wrestling restaurant on Monday. I hope so. I'll sumo wrestle you. Jeremy Buendia, Terrace ACL, sumo wrestling, Brian Ainsley. What a way, what a way to go out though. How'd, you, how'd your bodybuilding career end? Well, actually. This year is gonna be my biggest test in regards to checking my ego when I train. It's tough, I go on Instagram and I see a lot of these guys training and they're throwing like four or five plates on this machine right here. And something I used to be able to do, I just can't do it anymore. My shoulder won't allow me. And if I start pushing myself to push those numbers again, I'm gonna fuck my shoulder up. And the next thing you know, I'm not gonna go with anything. I can still get plenty of work done with this amount of weight. It's not heavy. 30s, 35s, 20s, yeah. 25, 30, 35s. That's it. It's an ego thing, man. I mean, we're men, we want to go to the gym, we want to be the strongest guy in there. And like, I think that's what comes with the maturity of being a bodybuilder is, is being able to not compare yourself to what other people are doing. And you know, I can get a lot out of training like this if I slow my tempo down at the proper range of motion, focusing on those contractions, feeling that negative movement. It's being able to stay mentally in tune throughout the entirety of every part of that motion. A lot of these guys get into the weight and they're just trying to put it up. They want to push that shit up. Their shoulder will pop up. They'll do whatever they can to get the, the weight to move. Yeah, you're strong, but are you really making progressive work? I don't think so. You're doing damage to your body in the long run. I mean, that's what I used to do. That's why my body's so beat up now. Back is sticking to the machine, so I'm gonna go back on for a second. This is 
my breakup song in high school. It's called Fuck It by E-Man. Remember this song? Yeah. <laughs> Brian's like, I know, I went through, I've listened to this song too. All right, last set of chest. Nothing too crazy today, obviously just the basics. Nicely back here at Y4 Gym, getting the pump in before we get to work with VQ today. Um, you know, chop it with Brion. Haven't caught up with him much since Olympia. And um, he talked me into doing some cardio with him, which I needed to start like three weeks ago, so. He talked you into walking here too. Yeah, he did. See, Brion, Brion, you're making me better, bro. That's why I like being around you. Last set. <clears throat> yep. One more. Come on. Yeah. There we go. Whew. that bad. Prep all over again, brother. Prep all over again. Why are you making that face? <laughs> no, I don't look there again. Do you miss daddy? Sweet potato. What else did you buy? You chicken skewers. Chicken skewers. I, I'm heavily debating if I'm gonna eat this or not. I, I don't think it looks that bad. It doesn't look that bad, but I'm just, you know, I might, I'm probably gonna have a protein shake. I need some protein, so I'll probably do that. I might save this for later. since I believe 2016, 2017. It's great to see the brand expand. It's great to have all you Japanese athletes a part of it. And uh, we're very fortunate to be here with you guys. Thank you. There you go, show us. You don't like the lean back at all. Pretty good. A lot of those overarches are back. Yeah. It takes it all the laps out of it. I noticed that, yeah. You really just changed the car. You see when I'm doing my pull. What up here? How do you like to train that stuff? I'm not training on the lower legs. You do lower legs. Yeah, I'm pulling low, elbows tight. Keeping this engaged. The moment I do this, I'm losing all my lower legs. So you're doing, you're tough, you're pulling. Keep that brass engaged here, and you'll get that lower lap Yeah. Uh, I'm going to work on the engagement 
Fight it here. Let's go higher, 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 higher. We can do, uh, let's do some uh, maybe high pulley. Actually, He's gonna show us how to engage the rear delts. We'll get your chest up. I want to roll. Yeah, yeah. We'll get the tension on the rear delt. That's a really good touch. Throw that shoulder from back that way. The stretch across. Really drag across the chest. Yeah, I like that. So me and Ruben went to school together and grew up together. Yeah. Um, he was always really good at saving money. I was always really good at spending on clothes. <laughs> um, we kind of lost touch around maybe 20 or so. Then we became friends again a little after that. Um, started training together. I really looked up to how good he was at saving money. And I thought, how can we make money together? You know, and we thought back then there wasn't a lot of great string of vests around. And let's start making some gym vests together in my mom's garden. Fast forward 10 years, here we are. It's been, what, nine months, so... Yeah, well, and then I got my tape measured downstairs, too. <laughs> You're always in the bag, huh? <laughs> 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 yeah, the dumbbells go pretty heavy, actually. You got 200? Yeah. Oh, really? Do the one eight? Remember watching you in Horacio? I'm like, oh, good. Oh, hell yeah, that one time we did 200s. You did? I watched. Oh, Horacio did it too? Yeah, but I just sat there and cheered. Hey, good school, guys. <laughs> <laughs> these, these look like 200s. Wait, what is that? 200. Are you going to do that now? Oh, yeah. 200? What the fuck? 200 nothing, baby. Is it 200? No. <laughs> oh, 60 kg. You were like, oh, you were really doing it. My eyes got big as hell. That's 180 right there? We got it. We got to warm up good to it. Do good. The like straps, the belts, and everything. I don't think I've ever picked one of these up before. We warm up really good. We got to just do like five, six reps. Just for the damn camera or something. Just for your guys'. You ever rode the ones at Gold's? Yeah. Oh, no, not that big. That big gold Big gold Hell no. I'm getting a pair of those from my gym. Oh, yeah. shit. All right, here we go. Curl, right? All right, so. Triceps are cute. Look at the feathering in the tree. This is off season. Feathering in the triceps. <laughs> 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 What's that? <laughs> 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 See, I just cramped. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Hey, 
Like, like, like a six minutes, seven minutes, a bit. Get down, bro. <laughs> Huh? Too clean for me. That's you know if I'm like, oh, you like that was Raw horse It's pretty good. Stick skills. It's really chewy. It is chewy. It kind of tastes like kangaroo. What? My little claws. Of course. What part of the horse? Do we know what part of the horse that is? That's good. I don't know, bro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> good stuff. I'm making soybeans. Let's go. Salt? Salt? I can't even have watched it as he died. That aftertaste, though. You see, I told you. It's, it's from the horse. No. No, it ain't. <laughs> 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 I can't watch this. I'm about to eat dinner. What is wrong with you? Dude, it's chicken and stuff. So, so they're going to come in and then we're going to measure our arms together. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is a wrap of day one out here in Tokyo. Man, I can't complain. We're out here in Japan. It's been five years since I've been here. A few years ago, you guys, I didn't know if I was going to be traveling the world anymore from the position I was in. And to be back out here doing what I love, it's an absolute blessing. We had a chance to meet the other Japanese Vanquish athletes. We got a solid group of guys out here, a solid group of girls, a tremendous amount of athletes, a tremendous amount of talent in these athletes. And, um, you know, we're looking forward to a great next few days. And uh, to be able to come out here and share our love and passion for fitness and bodybuilding is what we love to do. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We got more to come. We'll see you guys next time.